Welcome back everyone. Greetings, greetings, greetings. I trust you all well. Welcome back to another amazing episode whereby we analyze and prepare for the upcoming news, the CPI news. If you're new on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, set the notification bell to be reminded of any video that I post, like, share and comment. So without any further ado guys, tomorrow, the th Thursday, what's the day tomorrow? Okay, Thursday the 10th, we have CPI numbers, USD CPI numbers coming. So usually uh, it's an event that causes the market to be volatile. Consumer price index in the United States causes any pair that has USD to be volatile. So looking at the USD JPY currently on the four hour time frame, if you look at the previous video, uh, I've spoken about the dollar index and how it could be positive in the long in the short term. So on the four hour time frame, let me jump to the daily quickly on the USD JPY. So on the daily, we see that price broke out of this high, impulse pullback, tested this zone when we seen buyers coming into the market. Buyers are still in control of this price or this momentum. So currently price broke out of the high, just waiting for price to close above this previous candlestick high. Once it closes above there, then we're good to go. We're looking to take buys. Are we together? Let me go into the four hour time frame. So on the four hour time frame, we can see currently that the moving average is below price. Price broke out of this high. We're just waiting for it to confirm and break out of this previous candlestick high and close above at least at 1439.921 dollar region. Uh, currently price the previous four hour candle closed with a I can say a pin bar and then this was a bullish move nice bullish move forming there so I'm anticipating that we could be bullish we could just impulse pull back and target the first target at 145.028 dollar region I'm, I'm, I'm actually bullish for the CPI but don't take me wrong I do not know if this will come out the way i'm expecting it it's been a long while since we've seen cpi numbers being uh, bullish or coming out as hawkish but according to technical analysis and the fundamental news uh, that the the fed is looking forward to raising rates i'm still positive on the us dollar unless we get a, a break out unless you get a break Unless you get a break of the structure, possibly price is high, but currently broke out of the supply zone. So maybe you could just drop and then that don't mean I'll be wrong. This will be confirming and creating an pattern. This will be the neckline and would further drop down. But currently I'm looking for us to continue with the impulsive move, continue with the buy trend, continue with the uptrend. And then once we break out of the first target 145.028 dollar region, the next possible target, let me see it on the daily, is to test this uh, order block here at 147.598. Hopefully you could break and go on 151.792 before we could start to retrace back to the lows. So this is my take on the USD GPY for this upcoming usd event the cpi uh later today because it's already 35 minutes after 11 pm actually later tomorrow it's okay let's just be logical so that's what i'm expecting guys more bullish move here looking at the euro usd on the daily time frame we've seen that the euro usd has been consolidating and this trend line here represents an uptrend but currently that uptrend has been obliterated and price has been testing and breaking this low uh, on the four hour let's jump to the four hour on the four hour we see that we have this supply zone and demand zone price have been consolidating for quite some time the 200 day moving average is above price representing that price would continue to fall as it is already on a downtrend uh, with what i can say the candlesticks here are showing that there's more sellers than buyers on this market so 
further downside will be expected on the euro usd i could be wrong price could break this supply zone as well as this one pull back and test rise and uh, target 1.12746 so i could be wrong um, if you know how i trade you'd understand what i'm expressing i just trade uh, choose to trade this way and follow what the markets are saying and understand also the fundamental analysis so here we are moved by the dollar i'm not looking it on the euro perspective but on the euro perspective i'm just looking for the technical setup so a slight impulse pull back then sales continuing to the downside targeting first target at uh 1.08323 dollar region on r yes it's ideal so if you had to enter price could maybe spike to the upside at least and consolidate a bit before the event so just set your stop loss at 1.10156 then continue the drop looking at the gbp usd on the daily time frame so the gbp usd as it correlates with the dollar index the, or the dollar if i could say it in easier terms we see that the the gbp usd has been on an uptrend for quite some, quite some time then after this consolidative state broke out of the demand zone and it also broke out of the trend testing the low creating a low at let's see 1.26182 i remember this was the low from the interest rates decision the gbp interest rates bank of england and then price pulled back to test the previous breakout so currently we have sellers in this market uh, so i'm anticipating further drops to the downside according to this technical setup and as you can see already we have a impulse first touch second touch that touch so sellers are already here they took sell stop loss just above and then for more sales just wait for price to break below at 1.26761 then impulse pull back then target at 1.25870 this could happen fast during the event but currently the moving average is above price price broke creating as imp head first shoulder second shoulder but the pattern reversal pattern failed to continue instead price respected the resistance zone and then just every time price comes to this resistance it just get dumped and so so i'm anticipating that we could continue with this trend unless there are any changes and that the the cpi numbers come out the way i'm uh cooler than expected now taking a look at the usdchf remember i analyzed this pair some some weeks ago and then i said we had price breaking out of this structure here price never came back to test the structure at 0 0.89090 so we seen price impulse with more than five days worth of a downtrend and then we never got back to pull back and test that zone so price was here when i said that we could be looking to take turn around and possibly look to take the next price uh potential pullback the next ride could be at 0 0.89076 since price was somewhere here some of you could possibly took the signal or possibly made use of that breakdown of the market and currently we still haven't tested the low the previous breakouts so for me what i'm saying is that there's still room for more push to the upside to test the previous breakout we go on the four hour go on the four hour so we can see currently that this was the first first stage impulse correction second stage is in price impulse this was the first stage being created impulsive move and then we had a correction so this is a correction we are waiting for a second stage currently and the second stage is usually the the one that is more pips or has most more volatile movement than the first stage so i'm anticipating that we could continue with this uh we rally we continue to rally to the upside to test the previous breakout and then from there we could maybe start to see sellers coming in taking a look at the usd cad on the daily time frame so i have this trend line here if you can see i set the trend line accordingly accordingly with 
this channel here so i set it there and then i was seeing that price was on a slight uptrend and then but you had a downtrend here price broke out of this trend consolidated pulled back and impulsed from the low tested then we sold again but found bias around here creating a reversal pattern head first shoulder second shoulder seeing more bias coming in with a bullish engulfing breaking of this high up there confirming to us that there's uh, room for more bullish though the technical is still on a downtrend currently before we could possibly look to drop i think because we had an impulse now we got a pull back we could test this zone again before we could start to take sales maybe that could that that's also pos possible on the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame still the moving averages are below price the moving averages are a powerful uh, indicator guys i should make a video on this and then if you are enjoying this video guys and you're getting some knowledge make sure that you like subscribe and then you comment and share it ha it actually helps the youtube algorithms to push this video to other people make sure that you subscribe uh, on the usdcd a slight push to the downside uh, cannot be ruled out because we've seen an impulsive move it was about an impulsive move of i uh, think more than 1000 points which is 100 points and then followed by a pullback so a pullback on this previous breakout is ideal with stop losses below this zone and then first target could be at 1.34987 this is the hour chart the one hour chart on the usd cad so this is a possible setup slight pullback test in the previous zone breakout then a spike taking you to get the gold gold market gold chart on the four hour time frame so this one i spoke about it multiple times even on the previous weekly video it's about uh, i think three days back the video I uploaded it i mentioned that price could impulse pull back accordingly and we could see price decline even price declined further and impulse pulled back and dropped further so this was a, a strong sell under this pressure on the gold i haven't checked the news on gold because i haven't been interested on gold but there should be something that is driving gold to this extent that it drops so massively so on the gold guys i'm expecting a, a, a reversal i'm expecting a pullback to test the previous breakout at 19.26 dollar region from there we could see sellers coming in considering there's still sellers here sellers there sellers there and then they're looking to take this price to the downside so the next possible target could be at 18.93 dollar region that's the next possible target a slight pullback a continuation to test the previous to test the next uh low so that's that's what i'm anticipating on the gold for this coming uh nfp sorry the cpi news event and further possibly we could reach that uh, target maybe in the next couple of days or hit that full tp at uh, 18 93 dollar region next week looking at the us 500 aka s p 500 on the four hour time frame so the s p 500 i've been talking about it as well as an index especially on my analysis even the couple of days two days three days back on the weekly video market breakdown i analyzed the us 500 i mentioned that let's look at it on like let's look at it on the daily time frame so we've seen that this uptrend was exhausted and sellers starting to come in uh, possibly the, the the further bullish market will re start again once we tested this lows even further we could go to 4106 dollar region i spoke about it because currently we reached a, a, a high and then the previous high look, look how it dropped you understand so price is no longer on an uptrend currently as you can see this was an uptrend price broke out of that trend and then we seen price just creating a new low out of all that out of the structure let's look at the four hour 
So on the four hour, I'm anticipating that price could impulse pull back and then continue with the sell because already we had a uh, impulsive move there making it a first stage and then we are having a correction so we're just waiting for a second phase that could confirm that we are actually on a sell territory for good and then we'll possibly get a low somewhere there with to test before we buy so currently this is what i'm anticipating an impulsive move out of this consolidative state a pullback and a continuation first target could be at 4381.7 dollar region so what what happens on this us 500 will be also happening on the nasdaq if you trade in nasdaq you can use this us 500 setup as an insight or reference to trading your nasdaq so guys this is all make sure if you enjoyed this video make sure that you like subscribe share comment and let me know what you think and what you want me to talk about if you're new on this channel guys subscribe because this is a great channel if you're a beginner and if you're an advanced trader to get to know uh, how i approach the markets and see my journey and then we could just all learn on this trading thing and hopefully one day we will make an impact more than what you are doing cheers guys stay blessed good luck for the cpi cheers